Let's take a look at command line concepts, redirecting standard output. By default, the standard output of a command such as ls displays on the screen. To redirect the standard output of a command to a file, use the output redirection operator. The output redirection operator is the right angle bracket character, or the greater than sign on the keyboard. Let's redirect the output of the command ls with the output redirection operator and follow it by the name of a file. Here, we create a long listing of the directory etsy x11 and redirect the output to the file foo.txt. Note that the output does not display on the screen. Let's examine this file's contents using less. We see that the file does indeed contain the output from the ls-l command. The output redirection operator always overwrites the destination file from the beginning. Let's try redirecting the output of a different command to the same file. Let's examine the file's contents with less. See that the file foo.txt now only contains the output of the seek command. Its old content, the output from the previous ls-l command, has been overridden. To append redirected output to a file instead of overwriting the file, we use a different output redirection operator, the double right angle bracket character. Let's append the output of the command ls-l to the file foo.txt. Now, let's examine the file's contents with less. See that the file foo.txt now contains the output of the seek command followed by the output of the ls-l command.